What's up, y'all? My name is Essence. You can call me S if we're friends now. And welcome, welcome back to the lab. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a full cover nail tip unboxing, and I'm gonna be doing a unboxing of some other stuff that I got from my job. So it's gonna be like a little bit of a mini haul and. We're gonna do this set of nails. So if you wanna see how that process went, I don't want this intro to be too long, so let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> Was the process was this is what they look like so let's go ahead and get started <laughs> okay so the box is a little too big to fit in the frame but it is packaged really nicely i will say that everything's in here pretty compact so far here's the first thing i see in the box it looks like it is nail extensions natural just a little long 10 sizes 500 pieces soft gel so let me go ahead and open this. Here are the tips. And then here are the numbers. And then it looks like we have another box of tips. This one is the Coffin Long Natural. And I think I got them all in natural because something on the website said that most people have natural and that the c curve is not usually like what people's like the average person's nail shape is like and i've had these put on professionally at a nail salon before and i remember them being the c curved ones which i really liked but they did sort of like pinch and press in my natural nails in order to stay in that really C curve shape so I just kind of felt like this might be easier since this is going to be my first time doing this myself but this is what the tips look are looking like and then the numbers are on the top like last time okay and then lastly this is what I see in the box let me see if I can get it in the frame this dust bag this in it okay let's go ahead and crack it open. okay so yeah it's literally just called the gel x nail extension kit so this is all that it comes with. It looks like it has a nail file, which is in there pretty good. And then a light. You can see it presses like that and it's not charged or on automatically, but it has a USB port right here. So you can just plug it into your laptop or whatever. There's that. I don't know if this is like the original version that i remember a lot of people having issues with because of like the way you gotta like stick your finger underneath the light and then hold it this one is a pretty decent size so hopefully that's not an issue today and i also got another light so hopefully that will make it easier these are hard to get out of here but anyways i'll just show you all these so i can do the unbox everything else for you really fast but um this looks like a pH bonder, and then we have a primer, extend gel, and then the top coat. This is a nice little box. It looks like it's pretty sturdy. The quality is decent, so I'm glad I picked that up. Okay, so let me just show y'all everything else that I got. But firstly, I got this nail polish from Ulta. If you all remember from the last video, I told you all that I work there. So not too long ago, I just picked up a bunch of nail stuff. 
and this was one of the colors that I picked up. I just kind of figured I would do like a plain nudish look for my first nail set just to kind of keep it simple. This is something that I picked up. This is the other nail kit. I can't get the whole thing in the frame, but it came in this like red snap box basically. And yeah, I think this is supposed to be basically like a full gel kit too with some of its own supplies. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this and show y'all everything that's inside. So this is a pretty nice and sturdy kit. It says, let me see if I can get that in the frame. Red carpet manicure on the front of it. And it's super bright and sparkly red. That's cute. Okay, so first thing when you get in here, I see is this buffing block. Yes, I have some of these, so these are always nice to have. Um, looks like there's some instructions in here. So, boom, okay. There's a little pocket in there and these are inside and you use these to soak off your nails. So, or soak off your gel nails, acetone, or even, yeah, I think you, you can probably even just use these with acrylic or whatever, but yeah, these are nice to have. I don't have any of these, so that's cool. And then everything else looks like it's kind of, okay, spoke too soon. And then I get another small bag inside with a, nail file so it's pretty tiny it's not flimsy though and then i don't know what these little circular things are if y'all do let me know in the comments down below because i have no idea what those are but it looks like a wooden cuticle pusher and then <coughs> excuse me also this plastic pusher you can see the ends are slanted so let me open it yeah this is looks like some type of adhesive on the other side i don't know yeah if y'all know what these are for let me know and then it also came with these which i'm assuming are like no lint wipes and then you can like put whatever you want on it acetone water alcohol whatever and wipe off your nails and then everything else looks like it came inside of this thing right here so here is another lamp <clears throat> another lamp that i have that came with this kit and let's just go ahead and get into it I think this is like the third or fourth lamp that I have. I have the lamp that came with the last kit that I just opened. This light right here, a light that I picked up from Walmart and then another light that I picked up from Ulta that I'll show you in a minute. But here's this one. <clears throat> so this is what this one looks like. Let's get this. Has a nice and easy button to click on the top a bunch of lights underneath and a usb port in the back and i don't think this will be any easier than the other light that came with the full cover nail tip so this would probably be nice for something else maybe even toes but yeah there's that and then this is nice because I didn't see this in the last kit, but this one comes with a cord. It might have a cord. I don't want to be speaking too soon. Like, I just didn't look up underneath the fluff and stuff, but this kit came with a cord, which is nice. So let's see what else we got in here. So, this. <laughs> what does that say? Revitalize. So, this is a cuticle oil. That's cool. And then another nail polish color. 
a gel nail color. This, what is this called? This is called uh, Brilliance. It's a top coat maybe? Seal and shine, yep, top coat. Prep, so I'm assuming this might be step one. Maximum Adhesion Nail Primer. And then let's see, structure, this is the gel base. We got some gel base here, so I'm assuming this is step two. And then, This purify, let's see what this is gonna do. Pre and post application cleanser. So this is a nail cleanser. And then this, let's see, what is this? Erase, gel nail polish remover. So this removes gel polish. So I'm assuming like it's some type of acetone. And that is everything for this kit. And my baby already got into this, but this is the last thing that I picked up from my job, which is this light right here. I haven't used it yet, but I kind of figured like this would be the easiest approach to trying to do some full cover tip nails based off of my research, seeing other people do it and stuff like that. This has been like, the preferred upgrade to the original um, full cover tip nail light. So yeah, it has this little power symbol right here, but it's not clickable. Okay, so I'm assuming that once it's charged, you stick your hand into there and it's automatic. And this one came with instructions and it also came with a cord. So I'm probably going to use this in order to adhere the nails. That's everything for the haul. Let's just go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and picked out my tips. I used coffin and I went ahead and plugged up the light and I'm looking through the Opre box so that I can go ahead and pull out all of the prep. And I was able to find some instructions and the cord so here that is okay so in the directions here you see it's saying to file this section of the nail bed so i'm gonna go and grab my electric file and then we can go ahead and get started okay so i have this nail file this one i've used before and this is pretty much what it looks like. It's nice because it's portable, so I don't have to plug it into anything. And I'm just gonna grab like one of the bits that came with it. Like one of these sanding bands and literally just sand off the nail bed area. Gently. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try and file this off. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on like a low setting. And then just. Oh, it's like literally eating up the side. So I'm doing this wrong. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I might as well figure it out on this thing because this one's a waste now because the side is messed up. Should I do it faster? That's literally just Okay. All right. 
So I'm about to get out of nail file and try it like that and see what I can do. Cause I don't know how to do that. Okay, so I'm about to just use this to kind of like rough it up a little bit and then move on. Hold on, let me try this again. Okay, so this is etched up a little bit, but Let me get back on three, get up a little higher. Okay, so on a three setting that worked for a wider nail bed now. Okay, so this is working. All right, I figured it out. I'll have to get a new one for that pinky on this hand, but Trial and error. Okay, so I'm looking at the directions and it says to prep nails like any other gel manicure prep. So I'm just going to use this and follow it to shine on my nails, push back my cuticles and then wipe them off. Okay, so I guess I'll just talk a little bit about me. I love nails. I went to school to be an esthetician and long term I want to open a beauty school. I really want to, you know, help people in the industry like find a good place for education for aesthetics and nails, especially for melanated skin, especially for underserviced communities. But yeah, right now I'm just, you know, taking it day by day. Do my thing at Ulta, try and stack it how I can and you know, minding my business. But I essentially made this channel as a way to document my education journey 
and I was going to initially document my aesthetics, which I have some videos and stuff for still, but I'm just going to post it in a different way because initially I was going to post it while I was in school, but I was pregnant at the time, so I just didn't really want to like be exposed to like any extra stressors. It was like during COVID and it was like the peak of like a bunch of riots and you know crazy energy outside so I just like couldn't like get into that at that time but yeah I'm back and this is what I'm doing so I'm just wipe my nails off or no let me push back my cuticles first and then I'll wipe my fingers off and just use this and just gently push them back I got some big plans for this channel. I'm not going to school right now. Those plans got averted one way or another. Just throughout living life this year. And hopefully I can get back to school next year. I was just talking to one of my coworkers and she was telling me that the local college actually offers a course. So I was just looking into that today. I kind of feel like that might be easier than doing what I was planning to do, was, which was to travel up to the local city to go to nail school because I didn't want to go to the closest program to where I am because I already went there for aesthetics and wanted to, you know, see a, another, you know, educator and school facility like see how their training program was especially since like that's what I essentially want to do with my education like so I want to like learn and observe as many like other programs as I can I really love nails nails is like a passion of mine like I've always like loved doing nails like skincare was like I don't know something like I just kind of naturally gravitated towards and then like long term i always knew like i wanted to kind of do something more than just like be a service provider like probably like be a boss and more of like entrepreneur in some ways so essentially like i was thinking like oh i might own a nail salon and i just started thinking bigger than that like oh then i'll like probably own a spa so then i want to learn aesthetics and gotta like learn how to do all that kind of stuff so i always wanted to know like the ins and outs of everything that i was going to be doing so that's why i went and got my aesthetics license i knew it was going to take longer than getting a nail license so i was like let me just get that first and then i'll go back to school for that and essentially that's what i'm in the process of right now just getting ready to you know go back to school for nails learn the ins and out of the industry from that perspective and then you know just keep hustling to hopefully you know be able to open my own one day those are my goals, my aspirations <laughs> right now as far as my career. Okay, so got that all cleaned up. So after we clean them off, it says apply pH bonder and then it says apply the non-acidic gel primer. And then it says apply a thin layer of extend gel onto the finger. And then cured extend gel and the lights for 30 seconds. Okay. So basically do all three of these steps to your natural nail. I guess I will go ahead and do that then. This is the pH bonder. And just do one whole hand at a time. I'm like a little shaky because I just drank a whole bunch of Red Bull. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that back in there or started with that finger. and thick.
this send it underneath this white right here I'm assuming that was like 30 seconds I feel like I felt it here like I felt the heat I don't know I'm just do it again just in case okay it's not turning it off now so I'm just oh there you go so yeah boom so one thing they talk about is the speed of this process but this one hand alone is probably taking me like about 15 or 20 minutes so it's probably just user error like once I get used to it it'll be like nice and easy but all right so once I'm done with this one I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other hand off camera and then I'll be back to put the full cover nail tips on okay so I spoke too soon without the camera this took me like about less than 10 minutes to do this full hand so yeah we go ahead and apply the full cover gel tips are already about the inside so now i'm about to go ahead and put the gel on them and put them on there one thing i see a lot is like gel coming up over the nail so i'm going to try my hardest not to like put too much so that it doesn't like go up past my nail bed because i don't want it to get on my skin okay so i just want to like have that ready and then i'm just go ahead and try and put this on so it's a little bit much but and it's like an air bubble It says do that for like 10 seconds and then I don't have to hold it anymore and it feels pretty secure. So I'll show you up close in a second, but it's kind of like a little bit of an air bubble. You can kind of see there the air bubbles all around the side walls and the cuticle. So I gotta get better. As I apply them, you see it's a little bit of gel that ended up squirting up past the nail bed area, but it's fine. And I didn't apply a lot either, so I'm going to go ahead and do it again. The nails are sticky too. I don't know if I'm supposed to like wipe my nails down so they're not sticky, but I didn't and they're like sticking to everything. So I'm trying not to like get them everywhere. <laughs> this is definitely a learning curve. And apply it, make sure there's, and then boom, and then boom. So a little bit of air bubbles, but this one's a little better. Hand is really shaking. But yeah, there's definitely a learning curve to this. I do find it's a little bit easier off camera, like once I'm just kind of like doing it. Once I did a full hand and struggled, <laughs> it's not too bad. In comparison, definitely quicker than a full set. So full set of acrylics or hard gel. It's probably good that I use this light instead of to use that opera light because just being able to slip it under here makes it so much easier but yeah this hand is full of air bubbles and i did this with my dominant hand so hopefully doing the other hand off camera makes it a little bit easier okay so that's what these look like let's see all the air bubbles and stuff but hopefully they last. We'll see, I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other hand and then I'll be back to get ready to polish them. Hopefully I think that's, you know, the last step. All right, so I'm done putting on all of the tips. So the next step is just to go ahead and polish them. So I'm going to file off the 
tip of these nails like they have like a little bit of a little plastic nub on the ends of them i'm just gonna shave that off kind of like shape up the sides if i have to and then go ahead and yeah basically polish them so doing this hand off camera i feel like was a little bit faster but it was still just as tricky you know like this hand has air bubbles and stuff in it too i'm just recurring everything right now yeah i think i'm gonna use one of those nude colors one of these two this, i think this one came with the kit and then this is one that i bought separate like i wanted a nice nude that would go with my complexion and i feel like this one is a little bit deeper than this one so this is probably the one i'm going to use yeah so this is what we're working with they feel pretty good yeah they feel pretty sturdy too so they're on there pretty good let's go ahead and polish them and we can go ahead and wrap it up so as far as the speed i feel like it is a little bit faster to get this like or do this yourself once you get the hang of it like in the beginning it might be a little bit of a hassle and then especially if you're trying to record it which i'm sure most people aren't but yeah but once you get the hang of it it should be cake i really like this color okay so it levels out pretty nice so let's give it a second to do whatever it does see people do that sometimes turn their finger upside down and then they're just going to cure it so i really like this color i can see the air bubble through this i'm not going to do another coat but i like the translucency of this color it looks really pretty I miss my nails being long, but I'm gonna have to get used to it again because I haven't had them done in a while. Like I've been wearing press-ons. I wore it, but I've only even worn those like a couple times since the last time I got a full set. Like I just was over the nail salon, so I was just like, you know what? I'm doing my own nails. Like I'm just going to do them myself and go to school for it and teach people how to maintain their nails themselves as well and maintain them for other people you know i want to teach people that want to to go out there and service their community and their family members like the skin is the largest organ on the body and then we have these fingers and toes <laughs> and these nails and you know we need to take care of all of them they're part of you know our body and i feel like it's not normalized enough it's more like a luxury you know to be able to go somewhere and take care of this kind of stuff and i want it to be luxury but for everyone i want everyone to be able to experience you know being able to like get this stuff maintained and taken care of and for you to know you know the best ways to take care of this stuff for you based off of your situation because so i can understand that everyone is not in the position to go to a salon but also want you know to be able to go to people and to teach them the skills that they need in order to do the things that they need for their health for themselves teach you how to take care of your skin and nails and I feel like this application is a little crazy, but it's self level so it's kind of like just even in itself out, you know. I'm going to put a little bit more so it gets the opacity of the other fingers, but you see the way that just kind of like went on really easily and kind of like settled. Yeah, I really want to learn how to do hard gel extensions. I really want to get good at doing designs and stuff like that, and I really want to learn advanced skin services like laser hair removal, laser treatments, and stuff like that. 
I don't want to be able to get good enough to like show other people the most streamlined way to do it for themselves, whether it be for another person or themselves. I love this polish. I love the color. I love the consistency. I love how it's, you know, self-leveling. Okay, but I think I can get good at this and I think I can, you know, definitely like better my skills as far as like polishing and learning how to do designs and stuff. I'm excited to get good at it. <laughs> okay, so this wasn't too bad. This took me about 20 minutes. So I'm going to cure this one and then do the next hand off camera. But hopefully it doesn't take as long just because like that's been, been the case so far. I get off camera, it just kind of goes a little bit smoother. Oh no, getting it everywhere. My hands are so shaky, like I'm definitely not gonna drink caffeine before I do this next time. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and top coat these and then do the other hand off camera. I'm gonna need to get something to like rest my hand on because I find it to be easier when I'm not trying to like hover to kind of like stay in frame and stuff like that. So I'm definitely like kind of need something to sit my hand on because I just think that'll be easier long term. For experimenting with this kit for the first time, I would say it's pretty decent. So far, I will probably give this like a solid like eight and a half as far as like efficiency, ease, time consumption, like with the learning curve and all, like I'll give this a solid like eight and a half maybe. Like it's not bad, like pretty easy once you get the hang of it. I gotta show y'all what I realized once I was carrying them that my thumb on my right hand is actually kind of crooked. It's not too bad, but I can tell. So I was just show y'all. Here's what they look like. This one's just leaning to the left a little bit. So that's what this looks like. But overall, they turned out nice. Okay, so today's experiment was a success. There was some hiccups in the process, some learning curves, some user error, but we got it done. What do you guys think? Y'all let me know in the comments down below. And here they are. This is what the nails look like. Very simple, you know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, yeah, I guess I want to catch up with y'all in the next video. If y'all like this video, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Give this video a like if y'all rocking with me. And yeah, I'm catch up with y'all in the next video. Peace.